Let's talk about low voltage cutoff with hysteresis. I've got a 12 volt battery and I want to be able to disconnect the load when the voltage drops down to say 10.5 volts and then be able to automatically turn the load back on if the voltage rises up to say a little bit over 11 volts. So to do that I'm going to use a Schmidt trigger. Now Schmidt triggers have a built in hysteresis to them and a common way to make a Schmidt trigger is just with two, two transistors. Uh, I'm just using two, uh, two, two N222s two, two, two here and uh, I have a 5 volt regulator so this is my 5 volt rail from here to here and between there I have a 1k a 200 ohm and a 1k resistor so to find the voltage at the base of the T2 here you just use a, a it's just a voltage divider here we're trying to find the voltage at this point and if you use this formula here it comes out to 2.27 volts at the base here that's enough to turn this resistor transistor on now the emitter though we're going to drop 0.7 volts across here, so the emitter is going to only have uh, 1.57 uh, volts on it. That's going to be important here in a, in a few minutes. But at this point here now, with this uh, transistor turned on, I have a 1K resistor and a uh, 330 ohm resistor, and that forms a voltage divider. And if you do the math on that, it comes out to 1.24 volts at this point here. Now, the uh, if you look in the data sheet, uh, the VCE, the voltage from the collector to emitter when this thing's uh, turned on, is about 0.2 volts. So I am going to drop some voltage across here. But at this point here, I'm not going to have uh, it'll be 1 volt or so. And I have a, a Zener diode here to 3.3 3 .3 volt Zener. So the voltage here has to rise above uh, 3 volts to be able to turn my relay on. Now, I have. On this emitter here, I said I had 1.57 volts. So over here, it's tied to this emitter. I have 1.57 volts. In order for this transistor to turn on, I have to overcome this 1.57 volts plus the, the diode drop across here. So I need 2.27 volts across this uh, transistor to turn on. So I'm using a, uh, a resistor here to uh, limit the current and a uh, and a 10 volt uh, zener here so that this won't uh, turn on a below 10 volts so when i when the battery voltage increases the voltage here will rise up to above uh, 2.27 volts this transistor will turn on now at this point a i have a 1k and a 330 ohm resistor here and we use the same formula here and it comes out that it's 1.24 volts at, at this point here. Now, there's not enough uh, voltage here to turn this uh, this transistor on, so this is going to be off. If this is off and it's open here, then the voltage is going to come through the 1K and down into the uh, to the relay, turning it on. I'll have my 5 volts over here. So, that's how the, uh, the Schmidt trigger is going to work, and uh, I've got it set up here. We'll see if, uh, see how it works. Let's see, guys. Yeah. So I've got nine, nine point nine volts, and the LED there comes on about uh, eleven point more volts, and it turns off at uh, about ten point six volts or so. Comes back on eleven. So that uh, that seems to be working. I'm going to hook that up to my uh, battery and see if uh, see if that'll that'll do the job anyway that's uh, a low voltage cutoff using a uh, a Schmidt trigger uh, thank you